if you have a viral infection, for example, an antiviral medication will take care of it. Now, if you have a fungal infection, an antifungal medication will be given, all right, to take care of this. So antibiotics are not necessarily what you call, it's not blanket. It's not vitamin C. It doesn't cure everything. Antibiotics are not cure all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been ages and I apologize, okay? I'm actually sorry for that. But right now, I am back and I promise you much more informative content, much more entertaining as well. I'm sure you would find it informative and entertaining as well. So I would like you to stick with me and we'll go on this ride together. And if you're new to my channel, okay, when by the time you see this video, please hit the subscribe button. You will not get an infection doing so. Like and share to as many of your friends as possible, your friends and family as well. So today, we're going to be talking about antibiotics and the dangerous consequences that you really need to be aware of. Antibiotics, like we all know, everybody knows about antibiotics what are antibiotics they are commonly prescribed everywhere in the world in pharmacies in hospitals primary healthcare centers all over the world we all know antibiotics once you come down with an infection it is prescribed to you but do you know i'm sure you are aware like i've said in my previous videos that all drugs are poisons yes that's true coming from a pharmacist all drugs are poisons and if you do not use them in the right dose yes they are poisons and not just that there's a danger of overuse and the danger of underuse and these are the, the consequences of using of, of using antibiotics in this manner is what i'm here to discuss today antibiotic resistance is usually caused by underuse of antibiotics now let me explain something to you antibiotics are used mostly when there are bacterial infections to be dealt with all right if you have a bacterial infection i'm going to say this because i'm going somewhere if you have a bacterial infection an antibiotic will take care of it if you have a viral infection for example an antiviral medication will take care of it now, if you have a fungal infection, an antifungal medication will be given, all right, to take care of this. So antibiotics are not necessarily what you call, it's not blanket, it's not vitamin C, it doesn't cure everything. Antibiotics are not cure all. Secondly, all right, something you should also put in your left hand, so you don't use it to drink um, kuno or eat fufu. Antibiotics are not um, used to prevent an infection. What did I say? Pull your ears together like this. You don't take antibiotics to prevent an infection. You take an antibiotic when you need to treat an infection. Now let's go back to what I was going to discuss with you, antibiotic resistance. Let me give you a typical scenario. You are given a medication to use three times a day for five days for a specific infection and then my sister shalewa decides that after using it on monday she uses it monday morning afternoon and night she uses it on tuesday and she sees that her symptoms are wearing off and by tuesday afternoon she doesn't need to use it anymore that in fact she's fine and she drops the rest of the medication i know it can be bitter all, all those things obviously they are drugs and you don't use your medication completely i would have preferred if you did not use the antibiotic to start with and you just you know ran through that infection and it went and the phase were wore off but i know you'll be uncomfortable if you now started this medication and you did not finish it do you know what you just did you just created 
antibiotic resistant organisms yes the symptoms will wear off the majority of them will die but the next time that infection comes and remember look at the environment there's no how you can be without infections for the rest of your life if you do not finish your medication the antibiotics have been exposed to an underdose they become resistant you will never be able to use that same antibiotic to treat that same infection with that same dose and that is the genesis and that's the revelation or the beginning and the end of antibiotic resistance in layman's terms so as much as possible on the use of antibiotics let us completely discourage it especially when we're using it for children remember especially yes when we're using it for children you start giving a medication and the child is like mommy i don't want or the baby can't talk and you just realize that this drama it takes to give that child the medication is too much so you as a dad or the mom you now get tired guess what if that child comes down with that same med um, infection that same medication will not work and right now we are seeing the prevalence a lot in our country so as much as possible let us use these medications in their proper dose another thing i'm going to discuss with you is antibiotics overuse now the danger of this antibiotic overuse is you use too much and you disrupt you disrupt the microflora in your system now why do i say this we have what we call good bacteria in our body system all right we do truth be told they are even responsible for digesting food they are also responsible in helping us in helping our immune system yes the, the body depends on these good uh, microorganisms good um, bacteria inside the body to you know boost our immune system our body is a very complex um system so as much as possible when you overuse um antibiotics you end up killing the good bacteria and guess what once the good bacteria that is there responsible for supporting your immune system helping you digesting food helping you to you know ensure that everything is working well especially stop you from having diarrhea yes stop you from having diarrhea if you use today you are on azithromycin tomorrow you are saying no it's amoxicillin next tomorrow is ampiclox um the, the third day after you are on ciprofloxacin auntie uncle mommy daddy you are putting your system under undue stress and you're killing good my mi um, microorganisms guess what happens when these organisms die the bad ones will just spring up like weed immediately they just spring up and all their bad effects now begin to happen in the body one major indication is diarrhea there's a um, there's a particular um microorganism clostridium clostridium difficile is responsible for colonitis like that is inflammation of the colon if this thing comes to your body this person will keep stooling and stooling and stooling it will take a lot for the doctors to begin to find ways to kill this bacteria and why because this you know it was self-induced so as much as possible i beg you okay use antibiotics within their specific dose for the specific infection it is always best to seek medical help all right it is always best when you, an infection come you come down with an infection go to the hospital or go to the lab get a test done and then they will do a drug sensitivity test for you i have been in one of my pharmacies and found out a lot of people like there's a sensitivity test for like maybe 20 drugs and this person a young adult is already resistant to 15 out of 20. so as much as possible so basically what i'm saying in essence is when you come down with an infection this is the right procedure get a test done let a drug sensitivity test be done for you once that is run you will know the specific medication to take the doctor prescribes it for you you use it in the right dosage and um the infection clears off if it doesn't please go back 
to the doctor. Please don't go and say, uh, Funke, what medication did you use to treat this infection when you don't receive prescription from your neighbors? Orang, orang. Don't receive prescription from your neighborhood family doctors, except that person is a practicing medical professional. And I mean professional in the sense the person is a doctor, the person is a pharmacist okay these are the people that are in the know of medications to use thank you very much for this for you know this episode